Hello, and welcome to this episode of Ask Raghav. Today, I'm going to take up a question asked by Narayan, and he says, what is estate? Can you please share what is required to learn and become an estate? Narayan, thank you so much for asking this question. And I will start from very basics from scratch, and we will see what is estate, who is estate, and how estate role came into picture. And then I will discuss what are the roles and responsibilities for estate and who can become an estate. So uh, let's get started. Estate stands for Software Development Engineer in Test. And with this, uh, we have to think who exactly is an estate. Are they people, are they developers who help in testing? Are these people, are the testers who help in automation and the development process? or are the people in the team who can do both development testing and also help with the deployment process. Now, here we have to understand how this role was born and what was the need for this kind of a role. Now, if you look at the traditional project methodology, we used to uh, have a design phase, a build phase, where we, the developers will do designing and then they will do coding and create the product or the service or the feature. Then there was a testing phase where the QA teams, the testing teams will test the software. And then finally there was deployment. Now there can be phases before this like planning, et cetera. And after this like maintenance, but these are the major phases. Now this was a traditional project approach. And here we had different separate phases and separate teams for each phase. So the dev team will only do, do development and it was an isolated team. The testing team, the QA team will only do testing and it was also a separate isolated team. However, now with agile methodology, we have sprints. It is not like we take all the requirements at once and then develop and then uh, deploy and release and launch the complete product or the complete project. We divide the requirements and then we have sprints uh, and we take some uh, requirements, some user stories in each sprint. So every sprint has its own design, build, uh, testing and deployment uh, phases. And we have multiple sprints. So each sprint will have all these phases. Now in case of Agile, because we have these small phases and we have all these uh, design, build, test, deploy in every sprint here, we do not have isolated teams. We have a single team, which is called as the sprint team or the scrum team. And we also do not have a very specific roles. We don't say that this is only the developer task and nobody else will have visibility on it. The entire team, the entire scrum team has visibility on each of the phases, each of the work of different teams or different team members. And they have visibility on the entire uh, requirements and how it is being developed, tested, deployed, etc. So here in Agile, all team members work in close coordination and collaboration with each other. There are no isolated dev and QA teams. It is a single scrum team. Uh, every team members understands the products, the requirements, the features, and every team members has visibility on what other team members are doing. Uh, the testers need to understand the dev phase, the design phase, the workflow, et cetera. The developers need to understand the testing process, the testing tools, the automation frameworks, et cetera. Uh, all team members should understand the deployment and release process and the tools. Therefore, here in agile teams and agile methodology, we need people who can contribute and understand in the work and the process of dev, testing, QA, DevOps, et cetera. And therefore, with this need, the role of estate was born, that is software development engineer in test. So they are the people who have visibility in both uh, dev phase, testing phase, and deployment phase. And this role bridges the gaps between the agile team members or the agile team roles. So with this, now let us see what are the roles and responsibilities of an estate role. So if you are an estate uh, or an estate, we have already seen an estate bridges the gaps in the agile team roles, and he or she will be should be able to understand the design, the programming language used to build it, the testing process, the testing tools, testing techniques, automation frameworks, design and development of these frameworks, the entire STLC, that is software development life cycle and software testing life cycle process. Uh, he or she should have knowledge on the build and deployment of the application. They should be able to build, deploy, and run the application. 
uh, they should be knowing the bug life cycle, how to report the bug, how to follow up team communications. Uh, they should have visibility in the DevOps process. What are the tools uh, and the process used, the monitoring and tools and processes. Uh, they should have knowledge on the functional and non-functional testing as needed by the team and the project. And they should be able to do all the team collaborations and communications. So these are the typical roles and responsibilities for a asset role. Now, who can become an asset? So uh, as we have seen, this role was born as per the need in an agile process and methodology. So there was not a, this role was not there traditionally. Therefore, we do not have a, a fixed curriculum or a fixed skill set that if you go through these four or five skills, or if you have these four or five uh, knowledge of these tools, you can, you can become an asset. Basically a developer who has passion and awareness about testing and is ready to learn the testing process, the different functional and non-functional testing process and tools, uh, the frameworks, automation frameworks, tools and design and development of these frameworks, he can become an asset. He already has, they already have knowledge on the dev process, the programming language, and can also learn the testing side of things and can become an asset along with the deployment process. Or a tester, a QA person, who has good knowledge, experience, and skills in testing along with test automation tools and platforms and is ready to learn and is passionate about the dev process and can uh, is ready to learn the end-to-end -end process in a agile team, the programming language used in the development process, the dev and the build process and tools, he or she can become a asset. So this is how you can become an asset. And Estet is not a one-man show. Uh, you may think that this is too much for a single person. And yes, this is because generally we should not, uh, we cannot think of one person knowing each and everything right from the build, the planning phase, the development phase, all the testing tools, all the testing techniques, all the DevOps tools, all the DevOps process. So they can be a team of people who can be called as Estet or the Estet team. Now here, they can be people who know a programming language and know the testing process. They can be people who know the test automation frameworks and know the designing. So they can be mix and match of these skills and they can become a estate team. So this was about estate. If you have any other question, you can let me know in the comment section below and I will take up in the next episode of Ask Raghav. I hope this was useful. I will see you in the next session. Thank you for watching and never stop learning.